The Hovizeh missile is an Iranian long-range, all-weather, surface-to-surface cruise missile developed by the Aerospace Industries Organization of the Ministry of Defense. It was unveiled on February 2nd, 2019, during the celebrations of the 40th anniversary of the 1979 Iranian Revolution. The Hovizi is part of the Sumar family of cruise missiles, which itself is believed to be derived from the Russian KH-55 missile. The Hovizeh missile boasts a range of approximately 1,350 kilometers, making it capable of striking targets across the Middle East, including US bases in the region. It is designed to fly at low altitudes, which helps it evade radar detection. The missile is also equipped with high navigation accuracy, using advanced guidance systems such as TURCOM, Terrain Contour Matching, and DSMAC, Digital Scene Matching Area Correlator. One of the key features of the Hovizeh missile is its high precision and destructive power. It is capable of hitting targets with an accuracy of within one meter, which makes it particularly effective against fixed ground targets. This precision is achieved through the missile's sophisticated guidance and control systems, which allow it to navigate complex terrains and avoid obstacles. The development and deployment of the Hovizeh missile are seen as significant steps in enhancing Iran's military capabilities and deterrence power. Iranian defense officials, including Brigadier General Amir Hatami and Brigadier General Ali Hajizadeh, have emphasized that the Hovize missile is an essential component of Iran's defense strategy. It is considered the long arm of Iran in cruise missile defense, capable of delivering precise strikes against strategic targets. Technically, the Hovizi missile measures about 6 meters in length and weighs over 1 ton. This makes it comparable to its predecessor, the Sumar missile, but with an extended range. The increased range is attributed to advancements in missile technology and propulsion systems developed by Iranian defense experts. The Hovize missile's successful test was widely publicized, and Iranian media highlighted its capabilities. The test demonstrated the missile's ability to accurately hit targets at a range of 1,200 kilometers. This test was part of Iran's broader efforts to showcase its missile capabilities and respond to perceived threats from regional adversaries, particularly Israel and the United States. The international response to the unveiling and testing of the Hovizeh missile has been mixed. While Iranian officials praised the missile as a significant achievement in national defense, other countries expressed concern about the implications for regional security. The missile's long-range and precision strike capabilities pose a potential threat to military bases and infrastructure in the Middle East. The Hovizeh missile operates on a turbofan engine, which provides it with the necessary thrust to achieve its long range. The use of a turbofan engine is a notable improvement over older models, offering better fuel efficiency and longer flight durations. This technological advancement is indicative of Iran's growing expertise in missile technology. One of the strategic advantages of the Hovizeh missile is its ability to be launched from various platforms, including mobile launchers. This flexibility in deployment makes it harder for adversaries to detect and target the missile before it is launched. Mobile launchers enhance the survivability of the missile force and increase the strategic options available to military planners. The missile's low-flight altitude capability is a crucial feature that enhances its effectiveness. By flying close to the ground, the Hovize missile can avoid detection by enemy radar systems. This capability is particularly important in modern warfare, where advanced radar and missile defense systems are prevalent. The Hovize missile's guidance system includes both inertial navigation and satellite navigation, which work together to ensure high accuracy. Inertial navigation systems provide the missile with initial guidance, while satellite navigation systems correct any deviations from the planned flight path. This dual guidance approach maximizes the missile's chances of hitting its intended target. The missile's warhead is designed to deliver a significant amount of explosive power upon impact. This high destructive power makes the Hovizeh missile effective against a wide range of targets, including military installations, infrastructure, and fortifications. The warhead can be tailored to different mission requirements, offering flexibility in its use. Iranian military officials have stated that the development of the Hovizeh missile is part of a broader strategy to enhance the country's self-reliance in defense technology. 
By developing indigenous missile systems, Iran aims to reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers and mitigate the impact of international sanctions. This strategy also allows Iran to tailor its military capabilities to its specific strategic needs. The Hovizeh missile is seen as a symbol of Iran's technological and military advancements. Its development and deployment are used by Iranian authorities to showcase the country's scientific and engineering capabilities. This narrative is intended to boost national pride and demonstrate Iran's resilience in the face of external pressures. The missile's deployment has strategic implications for the balance of power in the Middle East. It enhances Iran's ability to project power and influence across the region, potentially altering the strategic calculations of its adversaries. The missile's long range allows Iran to threaten key strategic targets far beyond its borders. The Hovize missile is part of Iran's broader missile program, which includes a range of short, medium, and long-range ballistic and cruise missiles. This diverse missile arsenal provides Iran with multiple options for responding to different types of threats. It also complicates the task of adversaries attempting to develop effective missile defense systems. The missile's development is also seen as a response to the regional missile defense capabilities of countries like Israel and Saudi Arabia. By developing missiles that can evade radar and hit targets with high precision, Iran aims to counterbalance the missile defense systems deployed by its adversaries. This dynamic is part of a broader regional arms race. The Hovisa missile has been tested in various environmental conditions to ensure its reliability and effectiveness. These tests include launching the missile in different weather conditions, altitudes, and terrains. The successful completion of these tests demonstrates the missile's robustness and operational readiness. The international community has expressed concern about the proliferation of advanced missile technology in the Middle East. The development and deployment of missiles like the Hovese are seen as contributing to regional instability. These concerns are compounded by the lack of transparency and international oversight of missile programs in the region. The missile's development has also raised questions about the effectiveness of international sanctions on Iran. Despite extensive sanctions aimed at curbing Iran's military capabilities, the country has continued to make significant advancements in missile technology. This suggests that Iran has developed ways to circumvent sanctions and acquire the necessary components and technology. The Hovizeh missile's deployment has implications for Iran's relations with its neighbors. Countries in the region may perceive the missile as a direct threat and take measures to counter it. This could include enhancing their own missile defense systems, developing counter-missile capabilities, or seeking security assurances from international partners. Thank you for watching.